there, this is Dana. In this quick video, I'm going to be showing you about different kinds of pearl cotton. I've actually had a few people recently asking me about how to use it, and I was using some for a project I did not long ago, so I thought I'd just explain the differences between the different sizes and whatnot. So, you can see here I've got some different samples of different ones. Uh, there's four sizes of pearl cotton. This is for DMC. I'm not sure if other companies make it as well, but this is for DMC's fabrics, or sorry, floss. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so what I've got here, this is, there's, I've got number three, number five, and number eight here, and there's a number 12, which is really fine too. So this is number three, so you can see it's quite thick. I'm just going to focus that a little bit. It's got a re really lovely texture. You can see it's got a really lovely twist. So the neat thing to know about pearl cotton is you never separate the strands. With normal uh, DMC embroidery floss, you, there's six strands in, in the skeins, and you pull out however many... Uh, strands you need. With the pearl cotton you don't need to do that so it's actually sometimes a little bit faster to stitch with and it, because it's got a lovely twist to it it's got a really nice texture when you stitch with it as well. So that's number three, so that's the thickest. <clears throat> you can see individual strand here. So that's that one. This is number five. This is one of their variegated ones. You can see it's a little bit finer. It's really pretty. I love the colors in this one. And there's an individual strand of it there. I'll show you the coverage of these in a moment. And then here's number eight. So this is um, <clears throat> this is one of the finer ones. There's a number 12 as well, which is even finer. You can see it comes in a cute little spool, which is really, really cute. Um, this one here is the same color, but this is the number three, or sorry, number five as well. And you can see the number eight is quite fine and delicate. It's got these all have a lovely sheen to them, which is nice. So, <clears throat> sorry. Uh, what you can see here is I've made a little sampler. Uh, you can see here is number three. So this is 14 count Ada fabric. Uh, so you can see here I've gone over two. So over two just means you've gone over, instead of going up and over one hole, you've gone up and over two. So you can see here I've gone over two. I'm just going to focus that a little bit. And it's got a really nice texture. It's really, really pretty. This is over one. You can see you can't really even see the X's at all. I mean, uh, for uh, 14 count, I would say the number three uh, weight of pearl cotton is probably equivalent to about three strands of DMC, three to four, depending on how much coverage you like. So you can see it's it. I wouldn't definitely wouldn't use number three for 14 count unless you want a really really textured stitch, in which case go for it. And then here's number five, which is a pretty variegated floss. I'm just going to get that a little closer so you can see it. This is again over two. You can see a little bit of fabric is showing through the stitches, but I actually like that. To me, it, it shows off the texture of the stitch more. And then here's over one. You can see it's got very, very dense coverage. Just zoom that in a bit more if I can. So you don't see any fabric at all over one. So that's the number five weight. So that's equivalent to about two strands, two to three strands of the DMC embroidery floss. And then here's number eight. You can see uh, over two, it's got a really nice open airy texture. So if you're wanting to make like a textured background or something like that, that would be fantastic for that. And then even over one, it's still got pretty decent coverage compared to the um, the number five weight. You can see that there's no spaces at all. You can't see the fabric at all. This one you can sort of see the fabric just a little bit, but it's still got a really nice coverage. So in the project I was doing, I was using number five for my full stitches, and I was actually using number eight as like a back stitch detail almost. All right, and I'll show you too with the floss. <coughs> excuse me, because it comes in skeins like this. So you can see it's got, you know, normally uh, with your floss, it's got the two wrappers on the end, but you can see this actually got two loops at the end. So what to cut? There's two ways to cut this. You can either cut it into, I think it's like roughly 19 inches per strand or you can cut them into 36 inch length strands. So if you're wanting to cut them into shorter strands, 19 inch lengths, what you do is you'd actually slide these wrappers towards the middle and you'll see that there's one end that's just folded in half and then the other end has two ends. So what you do, I'm not going to do this because I don't need all these at the moment, but what you do is you want the 19 inch strands, the shorter strands, you'd actually cut these two right here. So you cut that loop there, you cut that loop there, 
And then what you can do is once they're cut, so the ends are loose, to pull out one strand at a time, you just grab up here and grab one strand and you'd, you'd pull it out and that would be your one strand you can use. If you're wanting to do the longer strands, the, the double length, what you do is you take both the wrappers off and you unwind it. So I've kind of done that with this one already. You unwind it so you don't... So you, it's all twisted like this with the two wrappers on. You pull the two wrappers off, you unwind it, and then you'll actually notice it's in a big circle. So you go to one end, you find where it's been folded in half like that, and you'd actually untwist, untwist it as a whole circle. Sorry, I can't get the whole camera in at the same time. So you'd get one circle, and then you just cut it once, and that will be your 36 inch length strands. You'll notice too, um, this one's been used already, so I've actually tied the end, the wrapper onto the end, so I know which one it was. Um, you'll notice too that when you come, when you take these wrappers off and you untwist it, the two ends of the floss will actually be uh, loosely tied together, so you can cut them there or you can cut them wherever is convenient for you. Then I always, you know, slip. The, the wrapper back on somehow and you know you can either tie it on like I have or put it up into the center of this twist and that because otherwise you're gonna be a bit lost later on when it comes to um, remembering which color that one was. Uh, these ones you could wind onto bobbins but because these tend to be longer or like thicker floss than normal embroidery, the, the six strand embroidery floss, um, it may end up that there's the those bobbins aren't quite big enough for these. I haven't actually tried it, but you could give it a try and let me know how you go. So that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, please feel free to let me know. Um, as I said, you can totally use... Uh, a lot of people think that the pearl cotton is only for like cruel embroidery or um, uh, hardanger or uh, you can use the really fine stuff for black work if you really wanted to. It would be really, really pretty as you can see. Um, but you totally can use it for, for cross stitch as well. You just have to sort of be mindful of what um, size your fabric is, like what thread count your fabric is, and then adjust accordingly. Like if you're using like 22 count fabric and you're going over one, you know, I would probably actually go for the 12 because that's going to be even finer than this. If you're wanting to do something like 11 count, then you could look into into the threes and the fives and have an experiment and see which um, which one you like the best. So that's it for now. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment below. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it if you know of people who you think might enjoy this. And uh, also, I've got a little pop-up coming up in the uh, right-hand side of the screen. Uh, if you want some free patterns on my website, please feel free to click that and uh, sign up to the Peacock Lounge and get access to all my free patterns on my site. And that's it for now. I hope you have a great day. Happy stitching. Bye for now.